Preserving history and culture is not the only reason for maintaining valuable structures. Creating a healthy living environment and lowering heating bills represent challenges as well. A major difficulty here is posed by damp walls. Not just because of the damage to masonry, plaster and paintwork. There are also restrictions on the use of the rooms, as mildew can have a negative impact on the health of the people who live there. Modern technology can help with this situation and permanently eliminate these problems. At the root of all these problems is capillary moisture, which rises in the masonry. The capillary action draws the moisture deep into the masonry, where it can rise as high as several floors. A horizontal barrier permanently blocks this effect and allows the masonry to dry out. Chemical damp proofing using a diluted silicone microemulsion or a ready-to-use cream is a proven method for introducing a barrier layer in pre-existing structures. This is done by introducing an injection agent into holes drilled into the masonry. The injected material then spreads out within the masonry to produce a permanent horizontal barrier. This puts a stop to rising damp, allowing the masonry above the barrier to dry out. The treated structure is now sustainably and permanently protected. The mechanism underlying the injection method is known as hydrophobization. The active substances in the injection agent react with the siliceous matrix of the capillaries and pores, resulting in permanent water repellency which blocks the capillary action. The first step in introducing the injection agent is to drill the holes into the masonry, either horizontally or at a slight angle and generally 30 centimeters above the ground. The holes must be arranged in such a way that the treated areas overlap so there are no gaps in the barrier. Ideally, an organically modified mortar should be applied to the masonry prior to drilling in order to prevent the injection agent from leaking out uncontrollably. Because the material injected into these holes spreads at least 8 cm in all directions, the holes must be drilled at intervals of 10 to 12.5 cm. If the holes are drilled in two rows, they must be staggered accordingly. Because the injection agent permeates the joint mortar more readily than it does the bricks, the holes should be drilled at an angle so that they cut through at least one horizontal joint. This angle should be no more than 30 degrees. In order to prevent the injection agent from escaping through the opposite side of the wall, the length of the holes should be roughly 5 cm less than the thickness of the wall. Adapters known as packers are inserted into the holes and then connected to the hose assemblies used for injecting the material. The product is then pumped into the masonry for several minutes under pressure. The injection agent spreads out within the masonry to form a horizontal barrier. Following this with an injection of an alkaline substance can cause the horizontal barrier to form more quickly. Older masonry often has cavities of various shapes and sizes on the inside, and these have to be filled prior to introducing the injection agent. This is done in a preliminary step in which a microfine cement suspension is injected into the drill holes. After about 30 minutes, the next step is to insert a lance into the hardening cement in order to create a channel for introducing the injection agent and, if applicable, the alkaline accelerator. Multi-stage chemical damp proofing is a highly effective, tried and tested method for creating horizontal barriers to rising moisture.
This diagram shows the results of long-term studies that confirm the lasting effect of barrier layers introduced through chemical damp proofing. The moisture content of the masonry above the barrier drops rapidly, even just a short time after the material has been introduced and the barrier has formed. After a while, the masonry dries to the point where it reaches a permanent equilibrium moisture content. The many advantages of this method are readily apparent. It suppresses capillary action, producing lasting protection against moisture. This reduces maintenance costs and increases the value of the building. It makes the building more comfortable by significantly improving the indoor climate. Mildew can no longer form on interior walls. Dry walls require significantly less heating energy than damp walls and this significantly reduces heating energy. The method is highly effective and can be used when the moisture content is as high as 95%. A product solution developed at VACA, the SMK550 silicone microemulsion concentrate, has certain features that are key for its use in this application. Its lack of solvent and the simple process of diluting the concentrate with water. SMK550 can be used for creating tailor-made solutions for any problem. Long-term studies and a variety of reference projects have shown that Silrus BS SMK550 works reliably in real-world applications. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. VACA. Creating tomorrow's solutions.